1972, it was only just at the very beginning of the Dunstan decade. So we were coming out of quite a conservative period of South Australian history, both politically, socially and culturally. So it was particularly shocking for the community at the time. A tailor named Joe Giuseppe Ulezzi made the shorts for Dunstan. He was Dunstan's tailor and actually also uh, made a lot of the clothes for other parliamentarians as well. So he migrated to South Australia in the 1950s from Italy to work in his cousin's tailor shop on Heinley Street. There was a lot of reporting, as you can imagine. Um, even today, a Premier wearing pink shorts into Parliament would be quite shocking. So his message was a bit lost in the national and international reporting. Uh, for many, even in South Australia, it meant that they felt a bit more relaxed about what work professional attire was, whether it be shorts or safari suits. Don Dunstan was making them acceptable to have a bit of flexibility and creativity and individuality in how you dressed. He also wore safari suits, uh, Nehru suits and even uh, business suits with flared pants. So he had um, quite a creative and individual dress sense. Uh, the safari suit that we currently have on display in the Centre of Democracy is on loan from the Flinders University Library and they have quite an extensive Don Dunstan collection of papers and books. The legacy of Don Dunstan and his governments have became one of reform, so national firsts, uh, social and cultural reform, they introduced a lot of legislation that recognised diversity. And so for many, the, him wearing these shorts to Parliament came to represent that challenge to the status quo that he was known for. 